Hey there, Diviers. Brody Dorland here with a quick walkthrough on how to manage campaigns in Divi HQ. Before I dive in, let's first make sure we're all on the same page in terms of what a campaign actually is in Divi. In simple terms, a campaign is a container that houses multiple content assets that are being produced to support some sort of larger initiative, like an event or product launch that runs over multiple days, weeks, or months. Unlike calendars that manage your ongoing content publishing schedules, campaigns have an actual start and end date that you can see on your Divi calendar, and you can drill into the campaign to see all of the various content assets you're producing for each campaign. Okay, now let's get into how we manage campaigns, and probably the best place to start is just to create one. Let's head up to the plus icon in the header and click to add a new campaign. Okay, let's start with a campaign name, and then I need to select its associated calendars. What you wanna think about here is which calendars are likely to house the content you'll be creating for this campaign. For an upcoming event, perhaps you'll do some website content, some email announcements, and some social promotions. Since those calendars will house those content items, selecting the calendars automatically creates your campaign team behind the scenes. Next, select a campaign type. Three campaign types are available, including regular campaign, which could be things like promotions or a product launch, an event campaign, or a content theme. Lastly, select the campaign start date, end date, and then click save. Your new campaign will now be visible as a spanning event on your Divi HQ calendar and available in the campaign's interface, which provides a list-based view of all your campaigns. From this view, you have a lot of the same functionality as other Divi interfaces. You can search for a campaign by typing the name in the live search. You can use filters to create campaign lists based on date ranges, calendars, campaign types, or campaign status, and create saved views. Quick tip, I'd highly recommend creating a few saved views that organize your campaigns by status like I've done here. If I'm looking for an older campaign, I can find it in my past campaigns view. But if I just want to see the campaigns that we have in the works right now, I can set my current and upcoming campaigns view so that's the list that gets displayed by default. Okay, we're almost done folks. The last thing I want to show you is how to dig into an individual campaign to see all of its details and associated content. From any Divi interface, you can either single click to open a preview of the campaign, or you can double click the campaign to open the campaign details interface. If you've been using Divi for a while, you'll notice that the campaign detail interface looks a lot like our sandbox interface. The details tab displays all the primary details for the campaign, and you can also include more details in the description field here. Lastly, the campaign content tab will provide you with a robust, filterable view of all content assets that you've associated to this campaign. When you need to add a new content asset to your campaign, simply select the appropriate campaigns when adding a new content item. Bottom line, it's great to be able to see everything in one place and check the status of campaign assets that are in progress. If a calendar view of your campaign is more your speed, you can leverage the campaign filter located in the Content Strategy Filter dropdown. After filtering down to my event campaign, I can see all my deadlines and when we're publishing each asset. And that's all she wrote, folks. I hope you found this video helpful for keeping track of all of your campaigns in Divi. We'd much appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get notified about new videos like this. Thanks for watching and as always, happy divvying.